The journey for a friar from entrance to active ministry <laughs> is a rigorous one. The journey begins when a young man works with our director of vocations to deepen his discernment, grow closer to God, and if called, complete an in-depth set of interviews and evaluations before being considered for the Dominican novitiate. Now, the novitiate is a friar's critical first year of formation. It's spent immersing himself in the Dominican pillars of prayer, study, common life, and preaching. It's an essential time during which he learns to authentically live Dominican life and confirms or clarifies his vocation. After the novitiate year, a novice brother makes his first profession of vows and becomes a student brother. Over the next five years, he will renew those vows while receiving a rigorous Thomistic education in philosophy and theology. During this time, a brother will also work to deepen his life of prayer and community, learning to live his vows more perfectly among his brothers. Eventually, he will make solemn vows in the order of preachers, becoming a Dominican for life. A brother's spiritual formation is carried out at St. Albert the Great Priory, our house of studies in Oakland, California. It's an oasis of prayer in the midst of a chaotic world and where the student brothers live, study, and recreate for most of their formation. While living at St. Albert's, a brother's formal graduate education is carried out at our Dominican School of Philosophy and Theology in Berkeley, California where brothers have the benefit of studying side by side with lay students and religious from other communities. And as a center of study for the Dominican order, we have the distinction of inviting friars from all over the world to come to our school as part of their formation. Now, Dominicans are first and always preachers of the gospel. When initial formation is complete, friars enter active ministry to fulfill this preaching mission. In the West, our parish ministries take us all the way from Anchorage, Alaska, to Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, and the Bay Area, and Los Angeles. Friars also serve at campus ministries, including the Newman Centers at the University of Washington, Oregon, Stanford, Arizona, Utah, and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Friars also work tirelessly for souls through a variety of special apostolates such as itinerant preaching, digital media work, the Rosary, Holy Name, and Angelic Warfare confraternities, as well as the international missions to the poor and teaching roles in colleges, seminaries, and universities. A lifelong commitment to preaching means a Dominican's formation never ends. Thus, Friars often pursue advanced degrees and continue their formation through sabbaticals and other educational opportunities. This helps the Dominicans defend and promote the faith while remaining one of the most intellectually robust religious orders in the church. Now, Dominicans, we never really retire, but there comes a time when their activities naturally slow. Even so, Elderly friars continue to serve in valuable roles by administering the sacraments, counseling, serving as mentors to younger friars, and praying endlessly for the needs of the church and world. Many elderly friars are healthy, but many also suffer from significant illnesses. Regardless, a friar remains zealous for the salvation of souls from his earliest days of formation to his final efforts on this earth. 